right now it is time to talk about you the actor now we are not no longer in the segment of actors that we weren't impressed by and we're now into the segment of actors that we are impressed are by very right impressed now. by yeah um well hello thank you very much um <laughs> This has been an interesting time. We live in interesting times. Um, I was talking to Rico about this last week. And, Rico E. Uh, Anderson. Rico E. Anderson. And we were talking about how since the pandemic, we um, have to audition at home. And um, you, you tape your audition and um, you, uh, you send it in. And it's such an interesting one, the lazy man in me is like loving it. It's like, I don't have to leave my house. I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I a drive two or three times a week. I love that. But um, the, the professional in me is like, I know that I'm missing out on doing a much better job if I was in that office, you know, and you having, so. that, having, having that person there, um, you know, saying, okay, do this. You know, and um, and it can make all the difference in the world. I, um, one audition I did have a, a little while back was um, I'm in I'm in my um, place and outside there were uh, construction workers uh, and they were making a whole bunch of noise. And so um, I'm trying to do the audition in between takes of them making noise. The audition happened to be. Uh, this guy who was in prison who was mad because, uh, you know, people were making noise and the lines were like, uh, <laughs> shut the F up. I'm trying to get some F in sleep uh, and just cursing big time. And so I did the audition uh, yelling and screaming. I, I, I didn't get the part, but it got real quiet outside. Real <laughs> quiet, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, again, my neighbors think I'm crazy because I'm yelling and screaming, you know, in my apartment. But that's that's just life. It's um, it's a new it's a new interesting thing that we're going through. And we're all working through it, trying to, um, you know, trying to adapt, which, you know, I think soon we'll probably be going back a little bit more. But, you know, it, it does save that travel time. It, get, it allows you to do other things. Right. So. We'll are they all pre-taped so or do they sometimes like have like zoom auditions or something or um well the first one is supposed to be pre-taped and then you do a zoom if oh, okay. necessary and and then if necessary you know you keep getting you know depending on what it is and how big the part if it's you know depending on what it is so what they need so yeah but don't so you that's like what's for business, don't you so. like being able to pick your best take and sending them in I, 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 that's a great point, but I am too anal. So <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, the first time I did this, I'm doing like 50 takes and I'm realizing <laughs> it, just, you know, what I, I, I can't do that. So, you know, I, I, I set myself, okay, I'm going to do 10 or 15 or whatever amount it takes. And then you just cut it down, cut it down, cut it down and, and, and do your, and send in your best one. But um, uh, my best one might be because I think I, you know, I, I look the best in that one, not necessarily because, mm. you know, that's why we have other people that do these things for you. They know, mm. um, directors know how to get the best out of you. That's mm -hmm. what they do. Right. Um, an actor, we're, you know, we're, we we do what we're told and you know you try and bring it out but um i think that's it's a, a, a one thing i learned over the years um acting and making movies and everything else it's a communal effort not a one person act. So when i first got in i was like oh it's all just you just need a camera and an actor and that's it no <laughs> that's not it it's about you know um all the influences you get from everyone doing all the work they're doing you know, so mm -hmm. the special effect person making that wiggly line and, you know, the, the makeup people putting the makeup on those trollics and uh, uh, everything makes for uh, an excellent piece. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. So it sounds it's like it sounds like the time that you saved not driving through hours of traffic, not looking mm -hmm. for parking, not waiting 
waiting uh, in the, the waiting room to audition. All that time that you are saving not doing that stuff, you're using up by taking 50 takes and then hemming and hawing. <laughs> well, this one, that uh, this one's slightly better. And then, okay, okay, I narrowed it down to 14. Okay, now these, oh boy, how much time do I have? And, and, and you know, it's... Um... It, 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 I don't know which is which is better. I don't know it, yeah. if it, it, I, I can't tell you which is better. Um, there is something about walking into whatever that is, the theater that you're doing it or the audition room that puts you on that you right. become you, you become boom when you're in your own space that you're in mm-hmm. 24 hours a day because, you know, you have no reason to go outside you're not as on as it when you walk in there and you see the director and the producer and the casting director, whoever it is sitting in front of you. You don't have you the know, electricity so. of a live yeah. performance. It's hard yeah. to motivate so I, yourself to just a screen. Yeah. It, it, you know, but um, I don't know, you know, we'll see, we'll see this. This is something, this is the, where we're at right now. We'll see if that changes. We'll see if there'll be, you know, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I do love the, like you say, not having to move out of my apartment. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. So, but that's that's being lazy, and that's not doing the performances I I, I need to do. So. Mm-hmm.